Hello world, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. It's Sunday, the 21st of July. Mercury stopped going retrograde last night. Things are going to start developing now in a way that's going to become much clearer, much quicker and much more transparent. And today's video is on the coming six pointed star. Enough of you have asked me and I thought, OK, let's have a look. So I've done a little bit of research and sure enough, there actually is a, a hexagram forming from a geocentric Earth based perspective around the planet Earth. Um, and the time is going to be around midday th on the 29th of July through to about 6 a.m. on the 30th of July, UK time. So 29th of July, basically, uh, maybe the 30th, depending early, early part of the 30th. At this time, the mechanics of it is that there are two grand trines. The Grand Trine that's been ongoing for four weeks now between Jupiter in Cancer, Saturn in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces continues, to, in fact, is in the final stages of its weaving, of its balancing act with Jupiter Trine Saturn, of its empathic growth with Jupiter Trine Neptune. And with the ability to bring structure into the imagination with Saturn trine Neptune. This is the background trine. But underlying that and over the top of that for a couple of days and especially a few hours. Around the 29th, Pluto will be at 9 degrees of Capricorn. Venus will be at 8 degrees of Virgo. And the moon will be anywhere between four and nine degrees of Taurus. Making another grand trine. With the moon trine Venus bringing a much greater degree of um, not just empathy, but resonance and a desire with Venus in Virgo for things to be cleaner, more transparent, more purer. With the moon in Taurus, which is a great place for the moon, bringing a much greater degree of emotional solidity and stability into one's personal experiences. And with the trine to Pluto from the moon, bringing a much greater degree of uh, personal emotional depth. And with the trine from Venus to Pluto, bringing the opportunity and the potential for a much greater insight into both the more business, financial and value driven aspects of one's own life and the global world. This superficial grand trine, which is underlying and overplaying the, the basic grand trine of Saturn, Jupiter, of Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, imagination, growth, structure. This more superficial grand trine will bring value adjustment. It will bring a change in personal values. It will make us all question our values in what is it that we want? It's all very well saying, I just want a nice lifestyle, you know, a nice, light, nice little solar powered ranch out there in the desert or a nice little cottage in the Cotswolds or a nice little place just on the outskirts of Sydney. But, you know, the resources you use to make that happen and the power that you make to make that happen. Really, you need to offset this against what else you do for the planet. quote from Richard Buck, your conscience is the measure of the honesty of your selfishness. Your conscience is the measure of the honesty of your selfishness. Listen to it carefully from Illusions, one of the greatest books ever written. Um, this six pointed star, have I seen it before? Yes, I've, I've got records of 10, 15, 20,000 readings, and I know I've done about 30, and I've seen this pattern twice before, maybe three times before. Not these planets, but I've seen a six-pointed star. But in every case I can remember, that six-pointed star has also included either the ascendant or the midheaven, in a personal chart anyway. I think there may have been something similar to this around 1963. I don't have the time or the energy to look back on this. Viewed 
heliocentrically, this time is not a big deal, but there is a massive jockeying for position going on heliocentrically. And towards the end of this year, as Uranus-Pluto becomes exact, and heliocentric Jupiter will be exact with them. Non-stop, folks. Non-stop. Keep going. This week is definitive. Great time for new beginnings. Great time for a birth. I think there's a baby being born somewhere, and I'm glad that any babies being born right now or onward have chosen to wait until the end of the Mercury retrograde. Should start getting clearer in the next few days. I think it's going to be an interesting time. Interesting full moon coming up this week. Uh, second full moon in Aquarius, 28 Aquarius. Got that wrong completely. Ends very start of Aquarius, zero degrees Aquarius. At the very, very start, just after the sun moves into Leo, which will be, well, what, tomorrow, tomorrow night, about 26 hours from now. So, yeah, big full moon coming in the next 48 hours. And again, excellent time for uh, um, birthing, releasing and putting things out into the world in a big way. OK, interesting week coming up. I've been waiting for it for years. Daily routines coming up. Okay, take care. Catch you later. Bye.